right, so uh, I'm supposed to be in the street, but then I, I found this man, this young man, and I said, let's do this in the bus, actually. This is still the street, yeah? You're welcome to Faith on the Streets today. I am Amanda Elo, and I just wanted to ask a few people how they have been serving God with their jobs. You know, people are not intentional. Sorry, I'm keeping you like this. But some people are not intentional about, or we as Christians ought to be intentional about our kind of job and um how we use it to save souls and use it to serve God. So today, I just want to know if we're conscious of the fact that our lives is basically to glorify God. So the question today is, how do you serve God with your job? How are you serving God? How are you saving souls with your job? And I have somebody here already. How are you doing? Sir? I'm fine. <laughs> you look fine. What's your name? I'm, I'm David. Smart Empire. Ah. Yes, you can call me Smart Empire. What, what do you do? I'm a comedian. Oh, really? And I'm a shuttle driver, as you can as see. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I was one that dropped you here. Now. Yes. Uh -huh. Actually. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name? I'm Chine. Okay, Chine, what business do you do? I'm into POS business. Okay. Actually, the POS business is my own business. Okay. Oh, it's yours? Yes. You brought okay. me all the way to this place. I went yes. doing this. So, uh, how do you... S are you Christian? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Christian. So, you're a shuttle driver and a comedian. Let's start with a comedy. How do you serve God using your comedy? Give us instances, you know, real life experiences that we can relate to because other comedians are watching you. That's good. So, um... I understand that people are on strike. This is an academic environment and people are on strike. But student. Oh my god. Yes, I mean today just because of the strike. Uh -huh. I said let me just start POS business. Oh, and how has it been going for you? My dear God is so faithful. Oh, really? At least I'm seeing some changes in my business. Oh, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. I mean you said God is faithful, so I can <laughs> I already assume you're Christian. So um as a Christian that you are. Yeah. yeah? How do you serve God using your POS business? There's a POS person looking at you now and they need to learn that there is a way they can serve God using it. So tell me personally, your personal experience in joining this, how you serve God using your POS business. Okay. I don't have much uh, knowledge on, on that, oh, yeah. you understand? But the little I know, you know, your understanding are different. But my own understanding of serving God, yes. hmm? yeah. let me share it with you. So in comedy making, there are some comedy you will produce. It will motivate people to do more bad, and some will motivate people to go, to do good. Okay. So there is a comedy I dropped last week. Um, I should explain the comedy. It just summarize it. Why are you? Why do you want to talk about it here? Okay. The reason why I I want to talk about the comedy is that uh, the comedy. Is like a real life story, mm? okay. and it teach a lot okay. if you understand it. Uh -huh. Because the comedy is like a friend came to me mm -hmm. and with shuttle, mm. a, one, uh, one of my colleague. So he came to me and was having trouble, trouble heart. Mm -hmm. I asked him what happened. He said that he knocked someone with his shuttle, okay. and the person died, Ouch. and he started running. Mm -hmm. So I was like. He knocked a small boy. So I was like, that, that one is not a big deal. That is a normal thing. Thank God that you run for your life. It's normal. It's, it, there's nothing bad about it. You understand? So as I was telling him, I went to buy something to give him so that he can chill. Uh -huh. So on my way going out, I received phone call. Anyway, though I gave my life to Christ, that was 2009. Wow. Though I'm a Christian, I'm also a child of God. It's not all about the POS. It's not all about the business. It's all about it's all about you understanding God in your business, placing God in your in first before the business. I so much believe that God is my first priority, so I have no option than to serve Him. In as much as God, people's believe that POS business is it, it needs and it also demand consistency, but that doesn't mean that I will not serve my God. All I know is that 
sometimes I will leave my close my business I'm go to program and come back in, once I came back people will start coming all I need is to just stay in my room like one or two I tell God one or two things people will start coming they have no choice than to come okay let me let me give us an instance of how you have placed God first before your business and yet it still works out for you give us an example I picked the call someone a strange voice mm -hmm. sounded uh, am I speaking with uh, smart? I said yes, he's smart. He said that there is an investigation going on that a shuttle killed my son. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and the plate number which they, 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 they captured, uh -huh. he called the plate number. I have to look at uh, my friend's shuttle plate number. It's the same thing. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay. So that, is, that shows that karma is rare. So I have to come inside. It's a Christian term. You know, we say karma, but when you say karma, what do you mean? Uh, whatever you do comes back to you? Yes, whatever whatever bad you do. If you didn't come come back today, it will come back tomorrow. Oh, really? Even good? Yes. Even the good ones too, right? Yeah, even the good ones. Oh, okay, so that's the lesson you tried to the, the thing I dropped. You understand? Because a lot of people are doing it. Someone oh, someone oh. killed so, uh, a, a, a young girl last week here in Oka. And, and ran away with his, with his vehicle, nowhere to be found. You understand? Yeah. And he didn't even have intention. Okay, this person that I killed, what what happened? Where is he, is is she dead or alive? At least you should have stopped. Or if you are running, run to a nearby police station. If you are saving your own self, but the person zoomed off, and the, the, this little girl that uh, he knocked down died instantly. You understand? Wow. So it's very bad. So, um, what again? Serving God with it. So this is your way of teaching people the right things to do. Exactly. And for you, it is serving God. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then, then for as a shuttle driver, yes. Okay. Uh, for the shuttle aspect, uh -huh. I am doing a lot of job because uh, some some day, sometime. I, like if you stop me and say please uh, I'm going to so so places I'm not with any cash I don't mind he helping you I will say enter there's a woman I I, 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 I like, like you were supposed to take 200 from me but you took 150 yes that's that's <laughs> how we do it that's how we do it it's nothing yeah, you're going to talk about woman. do you know why I took 150 from you no, 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 because no. I know in any good thing I, I, I do uh -huh. God always reward me Oh, oh, okay. okay. No, no, okay. No, no, say, look at that. <laughs> so, okay, um, so sometimes I do help. You understand? There, uh, there was a girl that died in, in, in hospital the other day. So it was around 11 p.m., uh -huh. which I don't work till that time. I do go home be, once it's 7:30. I go home. Uh -huh. So the the uncle came to me at uh, Regina, uh -huh. and was like, "Please, can you help me? Uh, his uh, niece." So he's in hospital. Please, can I help them and drop them home to the village? I said, is she dead or alive? He said that he don't know. When we get to the hospital, then he will, he, he will know whether the, the girl is dead or alive. So my And I haven't done such job before. I don't like carrying sick or dead person in my shuttle. Like, do I place God first? You know in POS business, people... People seeing it like most, especially Sunday is the first. Um, Sunday is a market day, and the is a market day in POS or POS. I can tell you, is the day it's more lucrative. And is that Sunday you will gain what you had never gained before since that week? That, it's not everybody that is doing POS that is coming out on Sunday. So if you mistakenly come out on Sunday, definitely you will make money. So and me, I have it where I'm committed with. Every Sunday, I'm going to church by two oh. in Onisha. So uh, what? Onisha. from Oka to Onisha. Every Sunday, and I cannot say no to the to the church because that was my first church before starting the POS. Okay. So every Sunday, I'll close my POS business. I'm still go to my church. Once I come back on Monday, every day from that Monday till Saturday, my sister will make money. You will still make I that thing. You will make money. That thing I lose on Sunday, I will still make it times two. Love your faith. Now someone is watching you and they want to have the same faith. So I want you to tell me, apart from going to church and other things, when people come here and 
you're doing your POS business. How do you bring them closer to God using your business? We have doctors, right, who tell some people who come to their hospital, these are the things you can't do, these are the things you can do. And if you believe in God, this is it, right? I mean, it's, it's not so ethical, but because they know what God can do, they bring this to people, right? Some teachers also teach some of these things to some of their students in some situations. Now, you as a POS dealer, how do you make your customers, how do you bring God closer to your customers as a Christian? You understand? It's not that something will happen, but my, my own faith, I don't like it. So I have to follow him there. As we got there, the girl is still alive, small. I have to carry them. He charged, uh, uh, he asked me how much I will collect. I said the near amount, because when I went there, I, I saw the girl condition. He, he, she has a kidney failure. So the, the parents, they were crying. I even joined them to cry. I don't know them. It's my first time meeting them. So I have to take them to the village. Immediately they got home and carried her or, or upstairs. The girl died. Oh. They forced me to sleep uh, over there. It was his late. It's, it's very far and I can't come back. So I have to sleep there in the morning. I used the same shuttle and, and, and took her to the mortuary. And since then, I became their family friends. Even the Belia preparation, I was there to help them the little I can assist. Okay. Let me start. I have a friend. Okay. And that my friend, I so much believe we are together in Christ. But the girl told me something. She told me, nah, I have serious problem. I was like, ah, what is that problem that is disturbing you? She told me that she's a chief forcher in their church, but because of... POS with said that she cannot combine the two together. I said no, my dear. Be an usher in a church will not even affect your POS business. And POS business cannot affect your serving God. It's the way you understand it, my sister. My sister, any day you have program, close your market and go. You mean, even if you go, come back. The, sometimes customer will stay there waiting for me, calling me on phone. Where are you? Nye, can you use your phone and do transfer? In the, even in that church, Nye, can you transfer for me? I said, no, just give me like so, so minutes, I will be back. Once I come back, they will come. And most of them will stay there waiting for me to come back to serve. I'm not the only POS, but I'm telling you, I place God first before the POS. And even some days you come back and you don't find customers, you're content with the fact that you've served God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They must come. They have no option. The only thing they will be telling me, they are, uh, it has been long. I told them I went for church program. They say, wow, why well, yeah, do this thing for me? Do this for me. Some people have been calling me for all the next thing to do. You just create a WhatsApp group for your customer. Create a WhatsApp group. It, once you are not be around, just posted it in that group. So, I'm not, I will not be around from Monday to Saturday or from Saturday from so-so time to so-so time so that people are coming from far will not just waste their transport and come to patronize you. Immediately you come back, you tell them, they will start coming. So did your friend start the POS business? Yes, and she's combined the two. And, and, she's, and she's not letting anyone overlap? I'm not. She's combined it exactly. This is interesting. Thank you so much. Chine, right? Yes, I'm Chine. Chine. Some, some people know me as Neye. Neye, Neye, it's, it's nice to do this with I appreciate you. Thank you, Mate. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you. Keep 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 serving God in your business. Of course, I have no choice than to serve God. By with my shuttle, like to carry some certain things and all. So I think I'm no, but no, no one need to tell me that I'm doing good. I know I'm doing good. You're doing God's work, yeah. I'm and, doing and, and this is an amazing thing, David. Thank you so much for sharing with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you too. David is a comedian. What's your what's your comedy? What's your your name on YouTube or somewhere? My comedy, uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. Uh, Smart Empires. Okay. Yes, if you Smart if you check it, you will see my face. Once you see my face and my voice, I have one kind of voice. Is can you use it? Can you use it? my voice? Yeah. yeah, this is the voice I'm using now. <laughs> you understand? If you hear it, you know it's you me. Know it's it doesn't change. Energy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this, and we hope you. Go on to continue God's job. Right? Yes. Understanding that it is your responsibility as a Christian. And somehow we hope that people would learn from you. Okay? Thank you yes. so much. David. There is a lot to, to say, but yeah. due to time. Right. And you know, this evening is our uh, business, business area. I appreciate you. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. All right. So I just finished with um, Chineye, and I think you basically know what it is right now. You can serve God with whatever you're doing. I don't know what your business is, but if 
Chinanya in her POS business can bring people closer to God. Let them understand that your job should not stop you from serving God and serving God should not stop you from having your job, then maybe you might learn one or two things from it. I'm Amanda Elo, and this is still Faith on the Street. Do not forget to follow us on our social media platforms, on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It is Faith on the Street. It's been an amazing session, and I appreciate you. And I hope you have been blessed by this session. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chinea. Thank you. I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you.